Okay, I got the cover off of this uh, MFJ C uh, 269C Pro, excuse me, um, and uh, kind of noticed something when I was taking out the cover. I'll get to that in a second here. Uh, before I put the rechargeable batteries in there, I had to make sure this quit. Uh, kind of hard to see it. Oh, jeez. Can't get enough light in here. It's right where that gold pin is. Um, right, right there. Um, I had to move that and move it one pin down to turn the uh, charger on in it. Uh, I mean, I don't see why they can't put a switch on the outside of it, but no big deal. Just had to take eight more screws off of it and uh, move that pin. And it's right up underneath the uh, right up underneath the frequency counter input. You'll see the pin. It's in between the frequency counter input and uh, just above the power input. And there's the pin that uh, turn your charger on for the rechargeable batteries that you get. Um, thing I noticed though that I thought was kind of neat at first, I wish they would have uh, put the switch in there somehow, where your batteries all go, and there's my uh, eight screws over here for taking the whole thing off, is I thought I was only going to have to take two screws off because I guess MFJ has a setup now where the cover has got another cover on there, but that's just for the batteries. That's not for uh, that's not for um, working on the switch there. So, and here's the other cover. So you could take this cover off of it and change the batteries without removing the whole cover. But you got to remove the whole cover in order to take and uh, in order to take and. Uh, change that uh, plastic, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a uh, plastic pin, the only thing I could think of. Uh, and uh, in a few seconds here, I'll have a snapshot of uh, me putting, well, have a snapshot of the batteries put in there already. So i got to put the camera down, so I'm going to cut this right here. Here we go. I got the main cover on. Eight screws total. Uh, I'll bring it over to the light here. One, two, and three, four. And there's four more like it on the other side. Didn't have no troubles with the holes lining up. Read some reviews. They said that the holes lined up poorly. These things here are just lined right up, not a problem at all. And this is uh, the back side. And that's where the other cover goes with two more screws, 10 screws to total. And I'll be putting that on shortly. Just wanted to show you guys how the setup is for the batteries. So I guess once I change that pin, it's a one time deal. And I just stick with the rechargeable batteries. and. That should do. And just thought I'd uh, put a review out there for the Pro. And it's on already. I don't remember turning it on, but let's see here. It says sleep mode. Alright, I'm going to get to play around with this in another video. So I'll show you guys the rest. Another video uh, once I uh, get this thing, uh, make a long story short, pick it out. <laughs> um, I added that end connector on there. So, alright, um, post another video here in a day or two, hopefully, and uh, have more information for anybody. anybody has got any questions, uh, go ahead and ask. Uh, Bear in mind, I'm learning with, with you guys, uh, so 
I'll try to answer them if I can. Uh, I got some antennas around here that I got to mess around with. I got oh, two meter hanging way up there behind the light there. Uh, they got a Wilson 5000 on the ground there at that little tripod there. So uh, I got some stuff to play with. We'll tinker around here and we'll see what happens here. And plus I got to check my shack antennas out too. Uh, yeah, make a 103 up on top of the tower, and the beepy noise you keep hearing, that's um, my radios. I got the volume turned down, but you can still hear the beeping. Um, but yeah, now I'll get back with you guys. We'll figure out the shack antennas, uh, the 2 meter 440 Duban tram, and the make a 103. See where that's sitting. Uh, it was kind of put together by uh, hand with no... Uh, antenna analyzer or nothing and just kind of thought it was a good spot going by the SWI meters I got up there um, so we'll find out the facts here pretty shortly so alright I'll catch you guys around take care and uh, like I said if you got any questions don't be afraid to post them and I'll try to answer them and um, 73